<laughs> what is that? Well, actually, it's a Korean word, literally meaning bibim means mix, uh -huh. and pap okay. means rice. Oh, rice. very good. Yeah. Mixed rice. I wonder how it tastes. <laughs> That's why I prepared some for you. It's mm. going to be blind tasting. Are you ready? So what do you mean by blind? Are you going to blindfold me? <laughs> Just like... Okay, yeah. I have, I have it. to smell it first. Yes. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Okay. It's going to be a big bite. You got the top part. <laughs> mm. What do you think? That's a good start. I have so many different flavors mm. dancing in my mouth right now. Mm. I almost I'm ready to book a flight on Korea. <laughs> oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a treat. Uh -huh. We have some multigrain, we have some rice, sesame seeds, salt, pepper, an egg, lemon, and what is this stuff? I what, know you what, would what is this? ask me that question. Hmm, what do you mm, think? I have no clue. Very, very, very Korean. Oh, really? Yeah, we Koreans eat a lot of sauteed vegetables, seasoned uh -huh. vegetables. Uh -huh. And this is actually a uh, kind of fern. Dragon fern? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, the stem of it. You can eat it raw, too. Mm. Oh, this is good. Belfar root, yes. Mm. Like cousin to ginseng, you know? In that case, I will be healthy <laughs> and make all of you healthy. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, look at this. What is this? These are the sesame leaves. Sesame leaves, mm -hmm. huh. Very fragrant, mm. very flavorful. It's almost between the mint and the basil. Yes, beautiful ribeye. Beef. Yes. Oh, beautiful and beef. yeah, we use this for Korean barbecue, uh -huh. bulgogi. Bulgogi. All right. Well, I got to think about it for a second okay. because I know that, that I, I'm going to bring a little bit of French mm -hmm. into techniques. I'm going to bring definitely a lot of Korean touch to the whole thing. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is mm -hmm. I'm going to cook my rice. Okay. And I, I'm going to use a really classic way mm -hmm. of, that we do in France, yeah. except that I'm going to jazz it up to be okay. a little bit more global by using organic avocado Ooh, oil. I avocado. love it. Oh. Yeah, usually, you know, you, you, you do steam rice all yes. the time. I want that rice to be coated okay. with the oil. I will still keep a few of these mushrooms to saute with the beef. I'm just going to drop it. We're going to raise the heat now, about medium. Mm -hmm. I understand that you um, you have some beautiful, beautiful wines in Korea. Yes, Which do. I am really do not know much about it, but I would love to have a little bit of that wine to cook my rice Ooh, with. Oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm really going to bring a nice fragrance mm. to the rice. Here you go. This is the ginseng herbal wine. Real? Oh, yeah. ginseng herbal wine? Yeah, it's got like a 10 different kinds of herbs. So the first thing you do <laughs> is you taste it. <laughs> Because otherwise you don't know exactly what would happen. Aha, uh -huh. I wonder why he asked me for that. Oh, this is good. About a quarter cup. Mm, okay. To bring it to a boil and then we're going to cover it and simmer it. That's it. We just slice it. So I make sure that they're all about the same size. So mm -hmm. when you stir fry, right. nothing will be overcooked. We're just going to clean that ginger mm -hmm. real well. Very, very thinly sliced, and we're going to do what we call julienne. You want to make sure that they're not too thick because right. it would take too long to cook. And what I like to do is to cut it only, as you can see, mm. about one centimeter, okay. no more, like half an inch. So this when I stir fry them, I think they're going to be just mm -hmm. delicious. We prepare all our, all our vegetables. Okay. So when we do our cooking, it will be what I call flash cooking. Mm. I'm going to check on my rice. So we'll add our egg. To finish it with the egg, I'm going to mm. make a crepe. So it's going to dry in, we'll make it with the julienne, and we'll finish the rice. Oh. Shut down the heat. I want a little bit of moisture. It's almost like making a risotto. So. Keep the lid on, mm -hmm. and then when we move on okay. getting our meat ready, yes. the quality of the beef is what is really important. Mm -hmm. So I just, just pull it, and I'm just going to remove okay. this. You really want to keep those slices really nice. Yes. So what I'm going to do okay. now is I'm going to create a little sauce. Sure. That's going to be my version oh. of curry. Tell me a little bit about this sauce because when I tasted it, you know I love chili. Mm. And this is zappy, this is rich. Yep. And I call it a 3S sauce. Mm. Spicy, sour and sweet. Oh, you know what I will call it? 4S sauce. Uh, oh. I will put very sexy. Oh, thank you Because when I tasted it, it was like very <laughs> central. It's really, really nice. Let's take, let's take some of this. Okay. 
because I'm going to make sure that we jazz it up. I'm going to take an orange. Okay, here you go. And I'm going to put either the orange juice with this. Mm. Okay, a little bit of uh, soy sauce, please. All right, soy sauce coming up. Okay, go Say ahead. When? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't mess it up, that's it, that's it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a sesame oil. Yep, you, know, you need this. Go ahead, yes, you need it. And then lemongrass, which I love because they keep it That's in it. oil. Yep, yeah, there you goodness. go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of our mm, chili, chili spices, mm -hmm. just chili pepper, mm -hmm. nice and dry, right mm -hmm. on top of it. Okay. So the goal is we put this in the plate. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I you know, if the beef is really, really fresh, you know, then you don't really need to cook because it marinates. That's it. And, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to flash oh. sear it. My egg is mm -hmm. nice and dry. Yes. This is perfect. Like Look a at crepe. This. Look mm -hmm. at this. Like a little crepe. Yep. Fold it a couple of mm -hmm. times and just cut it into strips. We'll add a little bit of mushrooms okay. and ginger. All right. Oh. So this will cook really quickly. Now what I'll do is add a little bit of sesame mm -hmm. oil. Nice. Very good. We call it al dente. Al dente. Al dente. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Is it? Isn't it nice? All right. Très bien. Très, très bien. <laughs> now we're going to stock our meat. Oh. So what I want to do is I'm going to caramelize this, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for something sweet and salty. Mm. What do you so, need? Yeah, I'm thinking about a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of honey. Okay. So the meat leaves. Mm -hmm. Immediately after that, mm -hmm. you need to start cooking your beef. Wow. But this is going to cook super fast. Mm -hmm. Going to saute it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, flaming. What I've learned is that keep it simple. Yep. Keep it flavorful, keep it in season, and it will be just delicious. Uh -huh. It really pops when you put it on top of it. So for me, it's like almost dressing it up. Oh, oh nice. yeah. sexy, sexy. <laughs> I love it. What's great about this dish is that if you want to and mm -hmm. you're really hungry, mm -hmm. you can even finish, put a little bit of rice in this yes. and roll it and you make a nice little cone. It's gorgeous. So check this out. We're going to put this one right mm. here that we put right here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put our plat de resistance right in the center. Right. And our rice in the front. I mean, you have all this beautiful color. Oh, yes. And our stir fry on the mm. back. Then I will bring it back a little bit closer this way. Okay. And by having a really nice balance, yes. I think that if you bring me this, <laughs> you know, and oh, I'm, I'm yeah. A, and I'm having dinner. I go, yummy. Wow, I can't wait to taste it. I'm so anxious. I mean, it looks so good. Well, this is what I call a deconstructed dish. So, so yeah, this is, so you, you're putting all the ingredients together. Yes. But, so tell me a little bit what you did because it looked like they're all sauteed. They're all sauteed except for the, uh, the carrots. Shredded carrots, I just eat it raw. Crunchiness. It's crunch. Yes. It's so different. Fresh. But this is a really hot bowl. So you put it this. It is very hot. So how does it work? This is a special pottery. It was made from Korea. It is, yeah, made in Korea. But it comes in different forms like that. It was in your basket, but you didn't use it. So this <laughs> over here. Usually you you'll find it. it. You yes. can put it on the stove. You see, there's very few clay. Yes. You can really be fired mm. by heat. Really cool. Yes. So what really I did cool. is heat up the uh, clay pot. Yep. And then at the bottom, I brushed some sesame oil all around. And I actually put the cooked rice at the bottom. So uh, when you simmer it over this little really low heat, uh -huh. then uh, it forms really uh, a little crust at the bottom. So the whole thing about bibimbap is that rice served with vegetables on top. I prepared some soup, which is the uh, cabbage soup made with juenjang paste, which is just like a miso, soybean paste. Ah, yeah. You can have that and serve with a side of kimchi ah. that I made about a week ago. You know, it's amazing. Kimchi, at the beginning, the first time I tasted it, I just went, oh my <laughs> god, what happened? And then I just went, hey, it's a little bit of a version yes. of shukut sauerkraut. Oh, we have yeah. That's you, a bulgogi beef. beef. But how do you cook it? I marinate it. Oh, no, actually, I uh, pan fried it. Pan fried. 
Fry. So you pan fried everything in one pan. Yes. You put your rice in the middle. Yes. And then you make it really cute yes. and sexy. Yes. Yeah. And then you put the thing on top. Simmer of it for a little bit. Oh, that's really cute. And I really uh, cool. sliced up some uh, uh, dried roasted seaweed on top. You mix just it? mix oh, everything. Okay. Yes. There's an egg in there. So you mix all this Medium. together. Yes. And there's a uh, gochujang oh, sauce in there with sesame oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what how you eat it. And that's it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cool. So you know what? Why don't you taste mine? All right, I will. I'm going over there right now. Yeah. In <laughs> Francais, we say bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mani de tail. Mmm. Oh, this is mm. delicious. Mm. Wow, you know these vegetables? Where all the juices flow? Uh huh. I got from the beef. Well, I, you know, the de deconstruction and mm. you reconstructing it and putting it together is really mm. cool as well. Mm. But kimchi, time for kimchi. When we call that, mm -hmm. mm. it's delicious. That's uh, cabbage soup. Oh, wow. Isn't it good? You know, this is a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. The heat of the soup yes. and being so subtle mm -hmm. really cool. Cools it down. Mm -hmm. Cools it down. It's amazing because you would think that the, the heat of the soup will even bring yes. that, that, that chili spicy. just yes. exploding, but it's the other way around. Yep. But what I loved about yours really made me just crazed inside oh. was the egg. Ooh, the egg, yeah, those the hiding. The egg, there. when you mix it mm -hmm. with all the vegetables and the beef, bring a richness that was so different. Yes, it was. A I really adore it. It's really amazing. Oh, great. So I think now I'm ready to get a little bit of uh, vino. Huh? <laughs> yes, I've prepared Korean wine makgeolli. Yes. And we serve with two Oh, look hands at the color. Like it's like, it's almost like the color of a lemonade. Well, come back. Come back. Thanks for coming. Mmm. Merci. Mm. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm. I like the spritz. Actually, this particular mm -hmm. wine would be a great pairing with Western food. Oh, absolutely. Well, talking about, you know, pairing. Mm -hmm. Hey, when I was in the freezer, there's a little bottle there that I, I really like. I have no clue what it is. But it's nice. It's even rain bottles. in my kitchen, yeah, everywhere yeah, yeah. Check, in the fridge. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. That was a little boy, surprise for boy, you. Black raspberry. Yes, wine. it's a black raspberry wine, and usually I serve it as dessert wine. Oh really? Yes. Mm, oh, I like it's that. Because it's really sweet. I'm gonna finish my cambe, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna switch to that one. So this is the book. Oh my gosh! Flying pants. Yes. Beautiful. So the flying pants is about us flying through all those wow. countries, but there is one which is really quite special. Oh, we good. make our own... Chon? That's it. Puchinge or chon, right? We oh call it in French because we don't know better when it comes to the accent. Pajon? 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 <laughs> That's very, really, very close. Oui. But it is so delicious. Yes, so it anyway, is. So anyway, this is my gift to you. Oh, thank you so and, much. And I have to tell you, we're going to get a little bit of this black raspberry wine because I know otherwise we're going to miss it. Look. That was for you, yes. Check, check out this color. Yes. Ruby color. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Madame. Thank you. My pleasure. And for you. A little bit for me. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, yes. I love this stuff. Come, Samira. Come, Samira. Come back. Come back.